Akita Inu is <laughs> protective when it comes to guarding his or her own family. They have a double layer coat that help them to survive the cold and harsh winters of the beaches of Japan and their robust body helps them to easily escape the snow covered mountains. This will not be the right breed to keep them This is generally a healthy breed that is health issues. Turn to the common ailments associated with the giant breed. This is an extremely active large breed dog that will be your bodyful companion for life. Akita will not be the perfect choice for smaller spaces such as apartments and condominiums. In this following video, we will help you evaluate your decision before taking the plunge. History Japanese Akita was bred in Japan and is one of the few breeds that has the esteemed designation of being a natural monument. The breed is considered to be the national dog of Japan. <laughs> the ancestors of this breed are not known clearly though most scholars widely believe that they are the descendants of the spirit. There are many who believe that Akita's was bred to be pit fighting dogs for various events that took place in the 17th, 18th, and 19th century. Since their introduction, they have been widely used by various different utilities, guard, and police dog services across the country. Unique aspects. If you are smitten by an Akita Inu, it is very important to know some things that will help you understand them better. These are just a few pointers that make your Akita different from the other dog breeds in the canine world. One of the foremost things to remember when getting an Akita is that this is a temperamental dog that can at times turn to aggression as well. If you have a prolonged eye contact with this breed then he or she might find this as a challenge and even respond aggressively at times. They can even turn dominant towards the same sex dogs as they might find it as a tussle to establish their supremacy. If you have another pet that will think twice before getting this breed home. Your Akita is a large breed dog so they are not the perfect pets for apartments and condominium style of living and is certainly not for the first time owners. You will not be able to handle this pet. This is a breed only for experienced owners. Monkeys are our closest relatives in the animal kingdom. But how much do you actually know about these remarkable creatures? Whether you're a certified primatologist or a certified primatologist, we have a special seat right here. In this article, we'll introduce you to the 25 most amazing types of monkeys in the world. From intelligent chimpanzees to beautifully colorful animals, we have photos and fun facts about all the world's most spectacular primate species. As an added bonus, we've also included some information on how monkeys are classified as well as some insight into the wonderful world of primates. That way, you can brush up on your monkey knowledge for the end. One of the most beautiful types of monkeys, the golden snub-nosed monkey, also known as the Sichuan snub-nosed monkey, is a highly sociable type of monkey in a small, fragmented area of the Tibetan Plateau in China. These beautiful primates have long, golden-orange fur coats and bright blue faces. Due to the extreme habitats that they call home, scientists believe that they've evolved to have flattened snub boats to protect them against frostbite. In fact, it's believed that the golden snub-nosed monkey is the most cold-tolerant of all non-human primate species. While these monkeys do live in the terrain, the frigid winter temperatures of the Tibetan Plateau can easily drop well below freezing. When this happens, the golden snub-nosed monkey is known to huddle with its young and other members of its social group to stay warm. Bears are an incredible demonstration of the might of nature. They are both respected by the and their tents. Nowadays, you can find bears all over the world, spread throughout forests and tundras. The largest populations of them are in North and South America, Asia, and Europe. Although there might have been many more, there are only eight species of bears that exist today. Out of these eight, six of the species are either endangered or vulnerable. This article is your one-stop shop for all the information you need on bears. That includes their species, classification systems, and conservation efforts. Admiring a species from afar isn't always enough. Consider how you might support the effort to save all the endangered species of bear. According to ornithologists, there are approximately
approximately 225 types of owls living in habitats around the world. If you have been a fan of this type of owl, then you have come to the world. Learn everything you could want to know about these communities, their classification, and the many different types of owls. Red dot owls don't have true eyes. They have tube-shaped eyes that are completely immobile. Two dot a group of owls gathered together is called Inspired C.S. Lewis's description in the Chronicles of Narnia of a meeting of owls. Three dot many owls have asymmetrical ears. The placement allows the owl to pinpoint the exact location of sound in multiple directions. So that can't rotate their head all the way around, only 270 degrees. 5. Most owl species vocalize at a notably low frequency to allow their song to travel long distances. 6. Owls don't have true eyeballs. Instead, they have two shaped eyes that are completely immobile. 7. A group of owls gathered together is called a parliament, inspired C.S. Lewis's description in the Chronicles of Narnia of a meeting of owls. 8. That many owls have asymmetrical The placement allows the owl to pinpoint the exact location of sounds in multiple dimensions. 9. The owl can't rotate all the way around, only 270 degrees. To allow their song to travel long distances. Classification of all types of birds. Approximately 25 of the owl species that belong to the group share quite a few traits. Most of the species are solitary creatures, except when it comes to the breeding season. Their bodies, eyes, and ears have evolved to support their nocturnal lifestyle. Coyotes have a bad reputation as a nuisance species that hunts and kills livestock. One estimate claims that coyotes kill or injure over 300,000 head of livestock annually in the United States. In recent years, media and news outlets have also pinned coyotes as killers of domestic pets like cats and dogs and, in some cases, even children. These claims are warranted, mind you. For example, in 2016, there were coyote attacks in Los Angeles, California. That same year, reported cases of coyote attacks on pets were even greater. Common might be the same word. In the 100 years that we've known about this species, only 50 individuals have been officially reported. And in 2008, Japanese scientists filmed the first goblin shark recorded in its natural habitat. So, these sharks are quite a rare find. Goblin sharks are pinkish gray and can reach lengths of 11 feet, 3.4 meters. However, one specimen captured in 2000 supposedly measured 20 feet long, 6 meters. Their most distinguishing feature is their long snout, called a rostrum. Their rostrum is covered in sense organs that detect electrical currents produced by other fish. This helps them locate prey in the low light of the deep sea. Well, wow. common might be a bit of a strong word. In the 118 years that we've known about this species, only 50 individuals have been officially recorded. And in 2008, Japanese scientists filmed the first goblin shark recorded in its natural habitat. So, these sharks are quite a rare find. Think human kids can be clingy to their parents. The Phoenix Zoo's newest squirrel monkey will stay on his mother's back for the first five to ten weeks of his life. Tubok, yes, it's a Star Trek reference, was born July 15th and is now spending some time out in the monkey village of his mom, Tasha, and is to the night house. 